Hey, I'm Noah Robichon of Fast Company. We're here today on the 29th floor to talk about logos, specifically the new Google logo, which everybody is making a huge deal about. Mark, I don't get it. Well, I mean, if you think about it, like it might be the most seen logo in the world. Like I was looking it up and the Google homepage is visited like three billion times a day. Okay, so given that they have such an important logo and everybody's looking at this thing, why did they basically copy Party City's logo? <laughs> Party City, like I think that's a little bit unfair only because like you have to think about where they came from. The original Google logo was hideously ugly. Um, the update was okay, but it, it always had, you know, this basic color, um, very elementary sort of voice to it. And if you rip that out, I feel like you kill Google's identity a bit. I still don't understand why this logo is smarter than the old logo. This will shrink down to small screens like, you know, a Google Watch, much better than the old logo would. But the, the thing that most experts I talked to really liked about the logo wasn't, wasn't any of that. It's actually that um, they created this system of four dots. And those four dots can respond to anything you want to do with Google. So the best example is probably if you do a Google Voice search, uh, you'll see the Google logo. It will transform into four dots and those will sort of undulate like a wave waiting for you to speak. Then you speak and those transform into a waveform of your speech. And then when you finish, it transforms back into the Google logo. So they're building a responsive logo um, for the future of user interface. Again, I'm struck by there's a certain like uh, smart, almost an engineer could love it. On the other hand, I still go back and say, my four-year-old has these magnetic plastic letters that he puts on the fridge look exactly like this. Google is this huge company that includes, uh, you know, spaceships, robotics. They're in advertising. They're doing all kinds of interesting, weird things that really aren't childlike and cute. And uh, I feel like this logo doesn't actually represent Google. It is only showing you kind of a very very um, small, simple form of what Google wants you to think it is. Yeah, no, I, I, and in that way maybe we agree, like this is branding, right? Um, so you do, it is Google positioning itself not as a global superpower that can cross-reference your email with your flights and predict <laughs> your next behavior, right? right? It's supposed to be something you, you want to go to, you feel comfortable to use. Right, this is the do no evil Google for sure. This, yes, do no evil. <laughs> So, is Google's logo childlike and ridiculous, or do you think it's a brilliant branding move? Hashtag 29th floor on Twitter, and we'll get back to you. Thanks, Mark. Talk to you next time.